So I went to this year's Hobby X 2024 and let me tell you something. Let, let me tell, tell you something. something. Let me tell you something. Right. It was one of those where after going there last year, I wondered what they were going to do bigger this year and I was not disappointed. Have you guys? So, it would seem that the theme this year was Retro Rewind and a lot of that revolved around having in-person classes and workshops and I can guarantee they did not disappoint. And the moment you got in, you got uh, a feel that this year's was a bit different because you could see that the organizers focused more on a lot more interactive activities to not only sell to the people but to also show them and get them involved because there are people that learn things by doing it and they only get hooked and addicted once they start doing those things and for the people that really wanted to get their shopping out the way but still wanted to enjoy the show they had a parcel counter where you could leave most of uh the stuff that you bought for safekeeping and travel freely and light man you know just relax Speaking of retro, one of the people that were there was Eurasian Entertainment and what they basically do is they have arcade style uh, booths where you can rent and or buy, I think, I think, uh, I stand to be corrected, but you can buy those and what they basically allow is for you to play all the 24 and 48, 24, 48 bit games that you grew up playing on at, at corner cafes with 50 cents. I mean, now they're two rands or five rands if you can even get any of those. And because of the advent of a lot more people having consoles, these sorts of places are going out of fashion where you go to have an uh, arcade fun. <laughs> winner! Winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> as well as my partner in crime playing Pac-Man as well, I played King of Fighters, but overall everyone was just, you know, reliving a special piece of their childhood. Now, off the corner of my eye, I saw Master Drive uh, Driving Academy and I thought to myself, yeah, I want to drive that. I mean, we're at Kailami, there's a track all around us and you have to do some driving. So I went over to investigate and lo and behold, and you actually got to see what the reflex test that the, these drivers take in terms of timing your reaction and training up your reaction time so that you uh, you respond quickly on the track, you know, and then you got to have test yourself against that. There was a personal best. Unfortunately, I could not set the personal best, but I did okay, mm? right okay. Look, and I thought to myself, if, if I can, you know, maybe impress them, they'll make me drive the car, you know, boom, boom, boom. <laughs> I mean, after all, I'm a champion plate driver. And we got to play a few rounds of table soccer and you got, or foosball, depending on where you're from. But you got to see that there are some people that play the exact same way they play on the pitch. So there are these other guys that are just cop and donna, spinning everything. And then there are the, some of us that play with a little bit more flair, you know, sticky taka, you're passing the ball, taking your time and scoring and still winning. And make you realize that some people don't own these. Now, after honing my reflexes and skills uh, on the other side, I went over to these guys that had sim rig set up and just observed and were like, you know what, we're at Kailami, they've got the sim rig on a Soto Cosa set up to uh the kailami track let me give it a shot you know just before i go as for that uh wild track mustang over there <laughs> the sim rigs actually give a good amount of feedback so if you're interested in driving or like race cars whether in real life or simulator driving definitely do check them out because it gives you that feel that you are in the car <laughs> So this is basically how I felt while I was doing all of that, you know, um, giving the feeling. So if you're really interested in racing, oh, hold on. So 
So if you're really interested in racing, uh, be it sim racing or real life racing, do have a look at them because it, it, it kind of teaches you the fundamentals of keeping a good racing line to carry the maximum speed um, through that. And if you don't want to be in a real car, would rather prefer sim racing, check these guys out as well because they, they give you a real feel. It does give a good feel of the car. And once I was happy with the practice session and my reflexes, I went outside to the track and really just had a feel of, you know, the the car around the track and you know, showed everybody my skills with the little, you know, tens and whatnot. And it was really enjoyable, I must say. I mean, if you really look at my face, look at I was so happy. I, I was in giddy giddy land. I was extremely happy at this point because I got to do something that I have not done in a very long time. And if my skills are anything to go by, I have a future. Hmm? Lewis Hamilton started like this. It's never too late. Never too late. And for the little ones that can't reach the pedals, you've got these electric vehicles or electric cars or electric toys for them that, you know, they can just drive around and cause havoc in the house. <laughs> You know, um, get them addicted to being petrol heads very very young mm. right way now to those of you that are somewhat entrepreneurial there were a couple of shops that were dedicated to like laser cutters and laser printers or no or specialty let's let's just call them specialty printers or industrial printers you know that could do your laser cutting your specialty printing i mean and these guys from Genotech showed us a couple of their products where they do laser cutting on all surfaces, metal, they do laser engraving, they do uh, sticker printing. I mean, even this, you get, we saw these, I mean, you'll see on the screen, but these are like stickers that, you know, you can get for your business and whatever. And they're good quality. They've got a glossy finish. And, you know, it's one of these things that you're like, okay, you know every time you meet you see one of these you ask yourself where do these come from and they come from businesses like this you know so um it is good quality it's not going to be damaged by rain or anything but yes it is things that you look at and you're like oh okay if you're on that entrepreneurial side you could have a look at these guys they were tro tech as well that showed how their laser engraver in how their laser engraver was working as well as these guys at mer systems that also uh, had their products on display. Uh, Volcano also had a couple of their products on display from laser printers to earphones to power banks to screens and whatnot. So, and you know, this was uh, just a little bit of the tech section. Now, one of the big highlights or big additions to this year's Hobby X was the bottom section, which they now termed the man cave. And this was just beautiful. And this was just beautiful. I mean, for someone like me, I, I could spend the whole day down there. The whole day. Like the whole day. Which I technically did. As you go into the man cave, some of the things that set people off were like the petrol head setup that was there. I mean, the first thing you saw was a, uh, an engine block coffee table followed up by Mustangs and other kinds of classic cars. And you ask yourself, oh, where? Even me, I want one. Ford, give me Mustang, please. Now, most of us have heard about Legos, but if you've heard about Legos, then you've heard about Meccano. And Meccano is, Sort of like Lego's bigger brother, the serious one, you know, the one that has all this stuff together. And these are geared to people that have a very large interest in engineering and the built environment on a smaller scale, you know, just like some people have toy cars, some people have toy trains, um, we'll come back to that. And some people just like to build buildings, but in the model set based on uh, mechano me sets. And these were cut to display because it kind of shows you that you know, hobbies don't all have to be just paint and this and that. They can be built things and nice things as well. Now, as always, cricket, true to its name, has to make a noise. And this year was no different. I mean, there's a 
good chunk of the floor that was dedicated to them and what was different this year is rather than just sell you stuff they also had a section where they started to teach you how to use some of the machines there it was interactive so you could make yourself free stuff and it was quite a bigger section this year that was interactive because you got to sort of experience it and make very very double triple sure that you actually want to spend the money on a product that you're going to use at least more than once PA was no different either i mean this year they decided to go all in they were like eh, eh, not giving paper bags anymore we're gonna do this for real for real PA along with cricket because they are uh, some of the major sponsors of the event they were not to be outdone and what they set up was massive they had this part where it was like PA arena PA craft in whatever and at these all of these stations they had things that they would show you from car, craft with cards to glue to water to paint to in, essentially they put out one giant try to see if you like it a stationary store because right next to that there, the section where all of those nice things you liked over there they were here to be like mm, i want that i want that money gone yeah. and people did actually enjoy that because it gave them a chance to just come and have fun learn some new tricks and what what you know use some of the stuff that they sometimes see at the store and ask themselves why is this five million run? now before the next section trigger warning for parents if you have little kids uh, and a stationary time uh yeah good luck Faber castle was also there and you got to see adults playing with crayons and being a little too happy and i realized oh man some parents are not buying these crayons for their kids they're buying crayons and cookies and coloring pencils from themselves uh, which is nothing bad i'm just saying mm. see you see you now not to be outdone by faber castle shop was also there with their products and they got to also just give everyone a taste of and a display of what they had available and you could try it there like offer now offer really makes cutters and i got to try some of the different plays that they use and got to come up with this sample you know you got to see how clean the lines are with that regard now with cutting material you need to put it back together and that's where so that's where brother comes in now three two one synchronous shyness there we go ladies nice and hold Brother was also had on display the latest range of machines and stuff like that for people that are in that industry where you like to create your own stuff for the home or clothes or you're doing this professionally they had something for everybody Labely had Labely Labely, Labely had a couple of Instagram slash TikTok famous products that uh, were also on display that you could try for yourself and purchase one And if you like the idea of pottery but don't really want to make your own from scratch uh, shops like these where they sell completed that just need to be painted are something that you can consider if you want you know halfway like 70 80 percent there but you just give it your magic touch and make it personal some supplies for scrapbookers and people that like to journal and that kind of stuff Some other supplies from clay shops and whatnot. Now I must say there were things that I discovered that were new to me, like diamond dot painting, like Legos that were made out of what looks like to be bricks and that kind of sort of stuff. So you get to realize that people's creativity is only limited by their exposure to things. And also for people that like plants but can't really do the maintenance bit of it, uh, you, can, you, know, you can get a, a terrarium, which is very low maintenance. I think you water it once, close it and never bother with it again or something along those lines. But yeah, do look into terrariums if you're interested in plants or plant life that is low maintenance. And places like the yarn room, for example, give supplies to 
people that do this with the arms and then Skotaiki comes out then they do this and then Jersey comes out and you ask yourself how where why how how but yes if you're looking for supplies look at them now if you know the words for for Maslalisan this next sound will sound very very familiar let's say Music Craft is also I think one of the sponsors because their exhibitions are also quite large but they also sp uh, specialize in like um, printing kind of stuff like refills for your cricket and all of that kind of stuff and generally your desktop uh, eh? But they have staff, man. Go to their website, you know, they have staff. Hey. And it's always cool to see artists displaying their epoxy art, like these guys over here. And look, if your kid really wants Meccano, but uh, right under the age restriction, you can have a look at other solutions like these guys. I think it was Cosmic Comics that had the setup of kind of like sets that you know teach them hand eye coordination how gears work and all of these things but in more kid friendly plastic so this was also a solution and there was some friendly competition as well where you had the pool uh challenge going on where i think they were winning a pool stick worth about one or two thousand rand something like that but essentially this was to get to see who can sink all the balls in the most amount, in the quickest amount of time and yeah as you can see here it was tough tough competition yana here and there some misses were uncalled for but overall great little challenge choco paints also featured and what they did is they had both an interactive section as well as a showcase section where they had an artist who was using their paints to paint on a canvas or a couple of canvases throughout the day just to highlight you know the practicality and the real life uses of these paints and as you can see he's quite a talented young man and he was doing his thing so yeah if painting is your thing have a look at choco paints speaking of paintings there were some good looking paintings i mean this painting of this young woman really like she looked very familiar i don't know from where but i'm pretty sure i know her from somewhere and overall hobby x 2024 was wonderful i got to meet a couple of people that are doing great things and next year hobby x will be on the first to the fourth of may the first is actually a holiday so you can just have an extended hobby x weekend See you next year. Cheers. <laughs>